Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright? that you have come to break us from our deadlock. I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Elfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Why do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is, and a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Eivor! I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hunwald is not the most cunning nor clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Though tinged with arrogance, Elfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three and has already proven himself. 
Head of Red, it will be. He knows what it means to lead, and he'll carry on with no trouble. Our Lord God, through his infinite grace and mystery, has spoken, and he has spoken with a ringing voice. The Bishop Herodriv shall be Lincolnshire's elderman. Thank you, one and all. God's blessing go with you. Psalm 78, 72. David shepherded his flock by the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skill of his hands. So I shall lead with heart and hand as one. God bless you all. Go easy on the mead, Lord. It's a long ride to Grimsby. I'm only sniffing it. I seem to have lost my thirst. I couldn't back your claim to your father's seat, Hunvald. You're a deep-feeling man, but this work is beyond your skill. I know. I've always known. I think I wanted this only as a means to remember my father. There are better ways to honor his memory. Like a drink and a song. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Eivor. We'll speak again soon. I have an alliance to secure. Eivor, you have gifted me a great honor. One I hope I can repay. One you must repay, as our tradition demands. Name your need. I want your holy word that Lincolnshire will be a friend to the Raven Clan through the thickest and darkest of troubles. Yes, of course. Have no doubt we are friends, you and I, from this moment forward. Only call, and I shall come. Thank you, Bishop. Take care of your sheep. And shear that one from time to time, for his own good.